Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Curls Hairstyles and I'm with Brooklyn today. Hey guys! And it's October, which means... Spectorials! Spectorials! And Halloween! <laughs> and Halloween, yes of course, one of our faves. And candy. <laughs> and candy. <laughs> so today we're going to show you how to do this Greek goddess look and we are calling it the Twist Faux Braid. Now it's very similar to one that we did several months ago called the Faux French Braid, but we've changed the way that we started it and we've changed the way that we twist the strands in. Makes for a completely different look, super easy, very awesome. You're gonna love, let's get started. Now to begin this tutorial, you can see that I've parted her hair just slightly off to one side and it's falling on either side and then I've parted to her ears. I'm going to take this back section right here just pick up right here in her crown and pull this straight back. I'm gonna use an elastic and secure all of it right here. Now because I want a little volume, I'm gonna go back and just loosen this right now while I'm here. When you have that set, then you want to do a three strand braid on this bottom part right here. Now that we have our braid completed, you can see that we've started this a little differently than our original French faux braid. And now we're gonna do something that's a little different too. We're gonna reach back to the front. We're gonna pick up a front piece right here, about half of it. We're going to give that hair a nice twist so that it lays back. And right back in here, we're just gonna pull a little bit. This is different, we didn't do this before so that it gives a nice fullness and texture. Then we're going to reach through our braid, like we did before, that first section, pull it through like this. And this is also slightly different. I'm going to take a bobby pin and grab that edge right here and flip it up and poke the bobby pin down. And that's going to lay that really pretty and soft and also help hide that, bo uh, that elastic. So I'm gonna go to the other side of her hair and pick up half of her hair and do the same thing. So, I'm taking it and I'm twisting it till I like where it's laying. I'm gonna give it a few little tugs to just bump the hair and add a little volume right through there. Then I'm gonna reach under that first section of the braid on the opposite side. Pull the whole piece through. When I have that laying flat, obviously we don't want it looking like that. So we're gonna grab that bobby pin and reach it up and push it in. And on this one, I add a secondary bobby pin just right in here just to help hold that and hide that elastic. Okay, we're gonna go back to the opposite side. You can leave hair out if you want by the ears, it's up to you. When you get to this point, it's gonna continue doing the same twist and pull through, twist and pull through, but I don't find it as necessary to continue using bobby pins just because the hair is so close to the braid at this point. So you'll see like I can give it a twist and pull it through this, but really like it doesn't necessarily need bobbies just because it's such a small little section right here. The other thing that you can do that's kind of fun is instead of twisting inward, Go ahead and twist a few pieces outward and then cross over so you're reversing the twist on a few. This is just going to add a different dimension, a little bit different texture. It's going to make the hair just do its own little bit of thing instead of being quite so uniform all the way down. When you get down to the end where you're just running out of hair, you can go ahead and remove the elastic and secure it all together. And then just go back and tweak or pin any last little spots you don't like, pull and fluff as needed. Give your bobby pins a nice little push to hide them all. And you have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hairstyle. 
And to top it all off and make it look very Greek goddess, we are going to just add a laurel wreath crown to it. And there it is. And the final spin. I'm seriously in major love with this braid. I think you could wear it for prom, homecoming, bridesmaid, wedding. wedding. But for and today, goes. it's got us. It is. It is part of our spooktorials. So thumbs up for more spooktorials if you want to see them. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye, Bye. guys. Be sure to check out our latest two videos that you can find here and show us some love by clicking on the subscribe button. 